so I'm new to Japan. This is my first time in Tokyo. Uh, and I'd like to visit the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Uh, but I don't speak any Japanese. And I don't want to ask the cab driver. Uh, but luckily I have a little translator with me. So I can, I've got a set for English Japanese here. Um, we support you know, 63 languages, like I said, but I'm going to demo mostly Japanese. So let's do this. I'd like to go to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. And there we go, it recognized it. And uh, there's my translation in Japanese. Uh, so I can show this, uh, I can uh, also click here to hear the translation. <coughs> and then uh, the cab driver will know what I'm doing. Or I can click here and kind of zoom in on that so I have something easy to show to the cab driver. So this really opens up my, my ability to communicate. Uh, and the voice input I use there is the same technology that powers voice search, um, just applied to translation. So it's a really powerful combination of the two technologies. Uh, so now I'd like to show you an experimental feature um, called conversation mode. Uh, this allows two people to have a, a real-time uh, spoken, translated conversation uh, with each other. Uh, so my colleague is going to come help me uh, demo this. Thanks for helping me with this demonstration. Ooh, we got it wrong. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with this demonstration. Please tell us about this feature. You can talk in a different language. Machine translation and speech synthesis to speak back those translations. 